Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial on vectors in R. In this tutorial, uh, we're going to add elements to a vector. Uh, let's start with adding elements to an empty vector. Uh, for that, let's create uh, an empty vector x1. Okay, so it's, uh, now we can add uh, elements to an empty vector using the same square uh, bracket. Uh, we can we can put the indices that we want to add uh, inside the square bracket since it ha it doesn't have any elements so let's add the first element uh, to vector x1 okay uh, we can add um, more than one elements using the column operator so let's add uh, elements from indices 2 to 6 this time okay so we have a vector x1 now with uh, six elements we can also add elements at the end of a vector um, and for that uh, you, uh, we should first of all know uh, what are the um, wh what is the um, uh, last index of that particular vector uh, and so let's create uh, another vector x2 uh, so we can see the last index of the vector is 7 so we can add one uh, to that last index uh, to add one element at the end of that vector okay so we successfully added uh, 100 uh, the last element uh, to the vector x2 uh, we can also do uh, the same thing using the length function so the length function calculates the last element uh, of any particular vector and we can add uh, one more element on onto that vector so let's add 111 to the above vector x2 again so we can see uh, 111 is successfully added to vector x2 we can also insert elements uh, uh, in a vector uh, in between uh, the elements so let's uh, create another vector x3 this time and let's say we want to add uh, one element in between 21 and 35 and uh, looks like 28 is missing here so uh, let's say we want to add that 28 in vector x3 for that uh, we will first of all uh, first of all make a separate vector using the first three elements of vector x3 and then we add 28 uh, is the new element and then again we will um, we'll construct another vector using the other remaining elements of vector x3 so basically we are using the c function concatenation function and um, using that function we can add or insert any elements in between the um, elements of a vector so let's add 28 to vector x3 or in more compact form, uh, we can also write this uh, this uh, above expression uh, above operation uh, using this notation here. So what we have done, we have initially um, our vector from index one to three, and then uh, let's add one thousand uh, uh, element in the middle, and we have another vector from index four to seven um, of vector x three. So if you if we execute this line of code, then a thousand will be added uh, to uh, vector three this time. So so uh, so these are the ways uh, uh, which we can use to add elements uh, in a vector. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, I hope to see you guys in next video.